has a reputation that it's usually like being like the tough school. Like when it's we not... came from grade six, like we were like we were, we're scared. scared. Yeah, like we we learned how to deal really with the with the really nasty people. It was really bad because grade nine, trying to get into this gang. They'd put spikes and stuff in the shoes, and they'd start kicking the grade sevens. Like going in the hallways, you see like these kids, this one kid punching another for real, and not carrying on or nothing. And then the teacher just says stop. And then when you get around the corner, he's hitting them again. But the person won't tell. So it's it's kind of like the school of hard knocks. We did a lot of suspending. We reached a point where uh, head head office said that's it. You can't you can't suspend anybody else. We did a student survey. If they had a problem, they didn't think if you went to the principal or you went to a teacher that they could help you. Our students did not feel safe in our school. Caledonia Junior High in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia is sadly typical of many Canadian schools. Restless students, Weary teachers and a clash of cultures, both economic and racial. Good morning. Venturing into this cauldron of confusion and mistrust comes a new principal, Mike Nicholson, and a new vice principal, Edie Guy Francois. Oh my goodness! I heard that the behavior of the students was so horrible that the parents were upset and that there was all kinds of racism. So it's like, how are you gonna fix that? Edie and Mike head for the hallways in a day in front of the camera. How they deal with disrespect and violence will be documented over the course of the school year. It is not long before they're called into action. The students' use of force to settle their differences is becoming routine, almost commonplace. Mike will be the fourth principal in four years to attempt to turn the situation around. One of these days, sometime I'll end up fighting again. Regardless, not fist fight argument. Edie is new to the school, but not to the challenge of getting along with others. Now, are you calm? Yeah. There are two different communities operating inside the school. And it's the haves and the have-nots, or the people who have money and the people without money. And then that breaks itself down into class, and it also breaks itself down into races. And uh, I just guess I'm more concerned about it being, like, one. I believe we have 90% good kids and 10% that are causing us a lot of heartache. However, when you have 10% and they're spread out in all the classes, you have, uh, you have students who are quite capable of good behavior saying, well, if they can do it, we can do it too. And it does break down um, control in the classroom. In an effort to promote peace among the students, the acknowledged global experts are called in, the Canadian military. So is it pretty important to listen to what people have to tell you when they say, hey, I really don't like that, or I don't appreciate that comment, or I don't appreciate being touched? Do you keep doing it, or do you stop? You're supposed to stop, but I keep doing it. <laughs> Why would you keep doing that? Stop it on me. I have one question for you, folks. One question. Is this an important issue? Or is this just me wasting 50 minutes of your time? Is this an important issue? Yeah, no. Can I give one? No. Okay. Please be quiet. Just said no. Okay, what do you guys what do you guys want to get out of this school experience? Leaving. <laughs> okay, but all you're talking about in harassment and stuff like that is respect and dignity for other people. You guys don't have any responsibilities. All you have to worry about is coming to school, learning at the desk, and hanging out with your friends and doing some homework. That's all you have to worry about right now. You're learning by at the same time you get the call. I was standing up here trying to teach you math or something like that, and you guys were going on like that. I. I'd probably jump up on the chair and I'd probably start screaming at you. I oh, and I'd get up and <laughs> But the thing is, like the thing is, that you, you have to realize. Just say you you're struggling. Don't scream at it. 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 Don't scream at it
respect us. That's what you're saying, aren't you? You're saying the teachers don't respect us, but you guys don't respect yourselves. Who? How can you guys? No, you don't. You listen to yourselves. But that's not what the teachers do. They expect to get respect without um, with arguing with the student and, and like making fun of the student. When I looked at this crew, I said to myself, what in heaven's name have you allowed yourself to walk into? This I thought about all the sick days that I had, then yes, my doctor could give me a note saying I need extended sick leave. Oh my, 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 it was, then I said, well, this is crazy. I mean, if you're gonna be assigned here for three or four years, you're not going to get sick leave for three or four years because it's stressful, you know. And I thought, well, don't run from challenges. And once I told myself that it was a challenge, then that changed it for me. And then I said, okay, I can do this. Edie's challenge is about to become even more daunting. For Mike, the stress has become unbearable. Two months into the school year, he shocks everyone with a surprise announcement. I want to talk to you this morning for a minute before the bell, and uh, I'm going to be going to a new job next week. And I'll tell you a little bit about that in a moment. Uh, starting on Monday, Mrs. Guy Francois is going to be taking over as the uh, acting principal for the rest of the year. And Mr. Lewis is going to be coming in as the acting vice principal for the rest of the year. I just hope that things will just continue to get better. It's still got things... Edie welcomes her promotion. But for the students and the staff, the change of command means one more uncertainty. I don't plan on this being my only year at the school. It's not my last year in teaching, that's for sure. And I see it as a beginning of a career, and it's certainly not one that I didn't want. It just came a little bit sooner than I had anticipated that it would. We're, we're really nervous. This will be our fifth principal in four years. I think the reputation came like where it's located, right across the street. It's not a very good area. And from Caledonia, what they hear is only the bad stuff. They don't really hear like. What's they don't good, hear the good stuff. Like the academic wise and everything. Yeah. A lot of the teasing that goes on in the school, like the damaging of some of the property, like around the school. Yeah. It's and just and like people getting beat up and fights and everything. <laughs> each group bugs each, each other. Each other, yeah. You suck. <laughs> Basically the people in the popular group they have like nice clothes and they like they dress nice and they're popular. Potato, potato. And then there's like the nerdy group. We're basically a technology committee, but according to everybody else, yes, we are the nerds, but I hate being called it. We can come here, do what we want to do, and there's nobody giving us any crap about anything. It's like our little getaway from the, the, the hells of everyday school. They're sort of like a loner group that's just off to the side where they dress like differently from us. Like, it looks like they don't take care of themselves. There's definitely kids that get picked on at the school, and it's... And most of the time, it's like the same kids over and over again. Well, I take, there's this one way down past the fields down there that I walk home. Another group walks that way too, and they're always throwing rocks at me. I find that sort of difficult. And then there's the black people. They hang around together. Certain people hang with certain groups, and they probably they just don't like each other really, but. When they're around us, they're scared. Yeah, but they're scared. 